All right, welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at these toolkits. I've been working on computers for, gosh, 15, 20 years, I think. And typically when I started working on computers, all I had was uh, traditionally just a flathead screwdriver. And that's mostly what you need. But then as you progress through working on computers, you get into laptops and consoles, and eventually you need better tools and you need more precise precision tools. So. Uh, about five years ago, I actually bought this toolkit first. I got this from um, one of our local parts stores, and I paid $10 for it. And it's supposed to be Great Next Precision Screwdriver and Bit Set 16 Pieces, Dura Tough, and all that stuff. I'll tell you this right now. That flat, I used the heck out of it, and it broke pretty easy. But other than that, this kit actually served me pretty well for, you know, working on laptops and very limited on top of type of console work but it worked for small electronic stuff stuff inside cars and little radios and all that stuff and it served me okay so not too bad this was 10 bucks then about a year and a half ago i purchased this and this thing has actually been phenomenal i paid 20 dollars for this this was purchased at walmart and this toolkit was pretty cool it comes with uh, everything you needed unit drivers over here torques, uh, security torques bits, and all these other sp special fancy keys and all that stuff. Came with this, which is the pick, which is pretty awesome. I've used this tons and tons of time to separate laptop components and all those cases and stuff. Magnet, so you can magnetize your bits. Prying tools, a little set of tweezers, and you know, suction cup to pull out screens from electronic devices. and. This worked out pretty okay. There was a couple of things I didn't like about this one. And number one, getting these bits out sometimes are quite cumbersome. They get stuck in there pretty good. And I mean, it's minute and some, not all of them are like that, but it's one thing I didn't like about it. But I mean, for the most part, it's been a fairly solid uh, toolkit that I've used and very happy with it. So for Christmas, my wife decided to get me a toolkit. And toolkits are awesome. I mean, if you're going to work on anything, you need tools, and tools are very important. So, you got me this iFixit Protect Toolkit. This is about $70. So, I just want to do a comparison, just kind of show is it worth the $70 that you're going to spend for this versus what you're going to get for this one or this one. So, right off the back, I'll tell you this right now if you have this one or something like this, you're going to need to upgrade to this one. A lot of times you can also use a screwdriver, uh, glasses, repair kits, and those is actually what I actually used years ago for a while. But something like this is okay. It's portable. It's convenient. But it, you're going to run out on your abilities with this tool set of what you can do. You're not going to be able to do consoles. And you're going to run into a lot of um, limitations with this. So definitely if you have something like this, upgrade. So then we'll put these two into comparison. This one, I have not yet to find a limitation on it. I haven't. And... It's actually a pretty good one. Uh, besides the fact that this little pick is bad, but you could buy a guitar pick for like 10, uh, a pack, a guitar pick for like a dollar or a couple of cents, whatever they call it. I haven't bought one in years. And I guess that would do. But that's the only thing is that this is worn out. And this one has a few limited sets. But we'll talk about that in just a sec. So let's open this up. If we could get it open. Okay. All right, so fancy box, which is very nice. Your silicone gel, which is awesome. Is it silicone gel? Oh, desiccant. My mistake, yeah. Well, it's kind of a silicone thing, but yeah, desiccant. Throw this away. Make sure your animals can't eat it or anything like that. Owner's guide, which is cool. And that's about it. So um, I'm not talking about this kit primarily just because... I'm not talking about this kit just because, you know, it's awesome and it's iFix. I'm just talking about it just because it's comparison. And a lot of people are looking to buy kits and just want to show you which way to get your best bang for the buck. Definitely like the case. You know, it's convenient. And then when you open it up, you get pretty much most of the tools that are in there are in here. But you got some extras, which I do like. Uh, the suction pad right over here, which seems to be pretty good, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it's definitely beefier than this one. So if you look at the comparison from $20 to $70, uh, better surface area. And this one seems a little more like it's going to give you a better grip on it. I don't know. We'll see on that. You got your 
magnetic stri uh, magnetic strap which I've never used these I hear you're supposed to use them but I mean it couldn't hurt to use it I've never used it never had an issue with it thinks like it would more get in your way than anything the other one does not come with it so but if it doesn't have with it my opinion is not a big deal next guitar picks that's what I guess that's what I call them you get a bunch of them with here all right Eh, it's a little flimsy compared to this one. This one had like a better edge on it, in my opinion. This one's pretty flimsy, so eh. we'll see how that holds and progress up as time prevails. And over here, this is where the main difference comes into. So you got your halberd, which I will say this is pretty convenient to have because I've actually had to use like flathead, small mini flathead screwdrivers, like for example, something like this. And I mean, same thing, but this one's a lot thinner and it works. Another prying tool, stuff like that. So yeah, you get a you get a very assortment of tools. You get some tweezers. This one separates and opens, so I don't know. I've never seen that, never used it. And uh, the tweezers actually protected on it. This one's a little more precise, which I kind of like that compared to the other one. Uh, what's this? Yeah, just more prying, poking, stabbing tools all that stuff so you definitely get more tools uh, for separation these tools are pretty good like if you're dealing with small little minute wires or if you're having to separate something delicately or kind of cut something up a little bit and you don't want to cause scratches I mean you even got a hook and ow, oh, that's pretty stabby on that hook so yeah so that's what you get with it and then over here more desiccant which okay just put that over there and this is kind of what I like you know this metal feels good it feels sturdy compared to this plastic one I mean the only thing I can think of with this plastic one is non-conductive but I mean this it feels right it feels right that's the best thing I could say uh, your nut drivers just like everything else and this pretty much has mostly everything that you have in here in fact I actually think this has a couple more bit options but uh, this has mostly what you're going to need. The thing I do like most about it is this extension. And I can't tell you how much this comes in handy when you have one of those case manufacturers that just put that screw and you need to do the hokey pokey to get to that screw and all that stuff. So that's actually pretty nice. And I think that should be a very helpful tool. But yeah, for the most part, everything else pretty good. These are easy to get out, pop in. They have their little markings and notifications on it. And... I mean, that's it. The only thing I can say is that this one is going to give you more bit variety compared to this one, but this is probably the ones that's more commonly used since they, you know, make this for a living. This is what they do, and this is just, you know, Walmart's cheap version of, hey, this is what we got. This is what we think will work good, but for $20, it's not that bad, and that's what you have with it. So let's go ahead. Let's try out some of these bits. Let's see. Let's try this one. Right over here, and let's see how this works as far as taking this off. Which I can tell you right now, grips pretty good. Feels pretty smooth, and the magnet on it is actually pretty decent. Okay, let's see, how does this pick up? Oh yeah, that's a pretty decent magnet. So it's got a good magnet, and that comes in handy definitely when you drop a screw or you're just trying to get into it. Oh yeah, that's nice. Easier to do one-handed. See how that comes out? See. Oops. There we go. And let's put that over here. So definitely happy with that. That actually, um, I will definitely say this. Uh, it's very comfortable. It's very comfortable compared to this one. This one you don't have much of a bite on it, and there's a little more resistance, I guess, because the plastic running on it. And I guess this one might have a bearing. It feels like it has a bearing on it, which, if it has the bearing, that's probably why it moves so smoothly on it. Pretty cool on that. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's take out some more things. I got this old CD-ROM drive here. Let's see, we got these itty bitty screws, and that's usually what makes or breaks this kit is these itty bitty screws. Let's pop this one in right over here. See if we can get that in there. Oh yeah. Now this CD-ROM drive is just complete junk, so I'm not even worried about it. It's but it does have small screws that we can use and as you can see using this bit right over here it's a lot more precise now let's take a look at our $20 kit over here and let's see how small 
we can go, which I think, let's take a look. All right, let's take a look at this one. I think that's the one for it. And let's see if this one will hold up with these small screws. Yep, it definitely does. And it gets the job done. Do I have any more small screws over here? Got some over here. Well, we'll have to change the bit on that one. But yeah. Definitely a winner. So, pretty stinking cool. Um, yeah, I do definitely like the feel of that. One thing I will say, this has a better feel for it. It has a better bite on the bit compared to that one. So, the quality is there, I could at least say. And let's put you back together. I don't even know where I got it from. Put it right back in here. And then when you're done, put it all back together, nice and neat. Mm, there we go. You keep it like this, or I'm probably just gonna keep it in the box for a little bit. Bingo, done. Okay, I kinda like the box, I would say. All right. And then this one right here, just kind of there we go. So final verdict, thoughts, and all that stuff. Um, awesome kit. I like the fact that it has more prying devices, more tweezers, and all that good stuff over there. Love the way the screwdriver feels on it, I guess because it has that bearing inside. I'm assuming, I don't know. Definitely comment below and let me know what is the difference with that there but it's very smooth the magnet is actually pretty strong so it holds on to the screws pretty decent and that's pretty big especially when you have to go into those little tight motherboard screws on the pci express power ones or um excuse me cpu power ones right over there so that definitely comes in handy on that and decent carry case and everything now this one i'm not going to get negate this one i like this toolkit i do it has served me well for over a year it's small it's portable it's convenient it's compact and it still works pretty decent on it so my recommendation my thoughts you need a toolkit so this is what my thought on it if you're just going to be doing basic laptop electronic works and computer desktop work this works pretty well this will get your job done if you're going to be working on consoles laptops all different types of electronics and even shows you in there phone repairs and all that stuff this is the way to go it's going to give you more tools it's going to give you more options you're not going to be limited on the type of repairs you can do and uh it's definitely going to it's more what's the word i'm looking for it's definitely going to be more diverse for the type of repairs you're going to do this will get the job done but i think this one is a little more convenient and has a little extra uh my recommendation if i had to buy one i personally buy this one honestly for twenty dollars it does the same thing as this one it's just as good and the price is a lot better i think this you pay more for the convenience the little extra stuff you pay for the name just like everything else it's a great toolkit not knocking it by no means but as far as price comparison and what you're getting this is just as good it's 20 20 bucks 70 dollars, and i think maybe just paying for the name and a few little extra tools so that's my review that's my thought definitely comment down below let me know what you think about this review in these toolkits which one you like which one you would um, purchase and all that good stuff if you like the video hit the like button subscribe if you're not thanks again and we'll see what we come up with next